Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. In this episode, we're going to concentrate on this front spacer. Or as you saw in a previous episode, this lovely piece of fabrication I made. Since you last saw it, we discovered that the angle iron was very slightly out of square. So on the angles on the main frames, we machined them square before we bolted it all together. Which then made me start thinking about this piece. How square was this? And the answer was, it wasn't. So I've had it in the milling machine and I've machined the ends perfectly square. But that's left a slight issue. It's now too short. So in this episode, I'm going to take this piece of metal, make it much smaller and pop it on the end of here. And then we should check whether it is now the right length. Right, so we'll get the length and the width. Uh, we'll get it all marked out on the sheet so we can cut it out. So we've got uh, five inches there, two and seven sixteenths. That should be two and, yeah, be two and seven sixteenths. That is nine sixteenths. And six mil. So there we go, done. So all I've got to do now is put the holes in. So there we are, these two small holes here, use those to plug weld to this frame underneath. Right, so all I'm doing is I'm literally just running the gun to melt the two together. Really all we're doing is we're just sealing the two together. It doesn't need any anything fancy. And the bolts through the frames and through this will keep it all together. Get that in closer for you, can you see that there? Uh, there's a couple of bits that just need a, 
a little touch up with the sander. But yeah, really, all that is, is just uh, to seal it from the moisture and extend it. So we'll let that cool down. I'll give that a quick flick over with sander, check it for measurements and uh, get it put in the frames. So you're thinking, why have we gone to the trouble of making sure that this is the right width? It's to do with this section of the frame. It has to be straight. Where the cylinders fit here, and then you have the slide bar, which comes back and attaches somewhere around here to the driving wheels at the back. It has to be straight. So we can't have any kinks, we can't have it narrowing. It has to be exactly the same size all the way down. That's why we've had to widen the frame spacer. Because we needed to make sure that it was square and it was also the right width. There we go, that's better. We can, uh, we can move it around now. measuring perfect there exactly the same just do the inside yep yeah, I'm happy with that so obviously the only thing noticeable is this side where we've put the plate on is a bit thicker than this and obviously the nuts on the side where we've not got a plate added the threads are sticking out a little firm on this side but as you're not going to see it because there's going to be a giant boiler over the top of it I don't think it's going to matter so there we are another part ticked off the list fitted to the frames it's now ready to turn over if you do like what you've seen in the video please do click the like button and that will help it spread a bit further in YouTube and by all means click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video which you never know could be quite soon join me next time when we start the underneath laters <laughs>